I'm gonna break out the Pit Boss pellet grill today. You could just as easily do this in your oven. So we're gonna take some bacon. You, you know that means it's gonna be good already. We're gonna take some Angus beef, some cheese, some other goodies. Super simple. Let's get this cook started. Okay, we're gonna take a cast iron skillet. Take this bacon like so. We're going to overlap each piece around this guy. Now you can see this is going to take me a couple of minutes and I won't cause you to endure the pain of me spreading this bacon all the way around this guy. <laughs> so let me get this bacon going. We got our bacon in there. I got 17 pieces. What I've got here is one pound of Angus ground beef. And you can see that's not going to be near enough. So I've got a second pound of ground beef that I went inside and got. The same Angus ground beef. Fortner Ridge Farms, Owenton, Kentucky. Had to thaw it out. Wasn't too bad. And I should, uh, in the interest of full disclosure, admit, Fortner Ridge Farms is owned by my dad. That's a great thing about having a connection. You get lots of beef when your dad raises beef. Okay, so we got our ground beef in there. Just going to spread a few onions. And actually what we want to do in this ground beef is make it come up to the edge so we have more of a pie shape. I sort of got in a hurry here. If you have a pie shape, it's easier to put these uh, insides in. And what I mean by pie is, you know, where it's coming up on the edges, that perhaps isn't the best word. So, that's a Vidalia onion. That's a small one. I cut up some pieces there. This is a poblano pepper. Some yellow pepper. Look, you can just use brown pepper, uh, brown. You can just use green bell peppers if you want. I happen to have quite a few peppers here. I have the poblanos growing in my uh, yard. They add a little spice. If you want the spice and you don't have poblanos, you could definitely add uh, jalapenos. And then what I've got here is just a little minced garlic. I had two teaspoons in total and I probably only used half. I'm going to add a couple more peppers here. You want to add your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using the Armadillo Pepper Signature. You don't have to use this. I would use a sweet barbecue rub if I were you. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. That's probably not even a half a teaspoon right there. And then I'm going to come in. This is some shredded Colby Jack cheese. That's a total of, you probably don't need eight ounces, but I don't know what I'm going to do with whatever's left over. So I'm putting all eight ounces in here. They looking good so far? Now we're going to take our bacon and wrap it back over this bad boy like so. Now we want to come back in. It's windy here today. You can probably see the wind blowing my rub. We want to come back in, season the top. Again, probably not another half a teaspoon. We probably got, oop, there's a little bit heavy, not on purpose. So I probably got one teaspoon, maybe one and a half, maybe. That little spot where it was too thick. Now, what you want to do is come in with your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm going to use this Fat Bastard Bear Bite. Again, you don't have to have this sauce. You can use your favorite. But that's probably, what would you say, one tablespoon? Maybe two tablespoons? Let's try that. We'll see if that's enough. And if not, we'll add some more. I'm going to add one more tablespoon there. just want to paint a thin layer on this barbecue bacon meat pie. 
I can't wait to tell you the truth. I think that's just about right. Now let's get this over to the pit boss. Get her on our pit boss pellet grill here. When the fire comes up here, sit it down here. I've got the pit boss set on 350. It's running 335 because I just had the lid open and we're using cherry wood pellets. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. You see our bacon. It took the bacon a while to crisp up. Get this off here. Got our bacon meat pie here. Took an hour and 15 minutes for that bacon to crisp up. Now I know this knife is not very sharp so don't go uh, giving me a hard time. We've been cooking all day and we're lucky to have a clean knife right now. Let me get that out of there. Now let's have a look at that. There's our peppers. You can see some cheesy goodness in there. There's what she looks like up close. Got her burger, got her bacon, pepper. Cheese is pretty much melted in there. You can see the bacon didn't get done as much on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. We've even got a little smoke ring here around the edge, even though we cooked it at that 350. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Sorry, I got a big bite. Mm. You probably already figured it out, right? along the lines of a meatloaf. And Angus beef, you can't go wrong with Angus beef. Peppers give it some texture, some softness. You get a little bit of that onion. Sweetness from the barbecue sauce. And of course, you get the bacon. Something a little different, pretty tasty. Hope you give it a try.